We continue to follow a developing story in Sarasota County. A mystery is unfolding in a quiet neighborhood near Nokomis where gunshots rang out. News Channel 8's Amanda Shavari. She's got new information from the scene this morning. Amanda, you've been out there all morning. What do we know so far? Well, Marco, we are finally getting answers, learning that five people were involved in all of this. Three of them found dead in the home you see behind me in what detectives are calling an apparent double murder suicide. But there are two crime scenes in this. As we swing around over here, you're going to see the second, this driveway, where detectives believe this all started when the suspected shooter crashed into this car. Now, let's walk you through what we know chronologically. Stay with me here. Deputies tell us that in this driveway is where there was some sort of altercation, and the green car you see was driven by the shooter. Investigators, you can see here taking pictures of it and eventually towing it away. But when this altercation happened, the suspected shooter actually hit one of his neighbors. Thankfully, that man only has minor injuries, but across the street in this house is where the shooting happened. Detectives again telling us this is a double murder suicide. Detectives, deputies, evidence technicians on scene for hours collecting items and trying to determine what led up to the shooting. From this shooting, there is one surviving victim also shot, a woman brought to the hospital currently in critical condition. Just moments ago, I spoke with neighbors who saw a man and woman in the front yard of the home fighting, arguing just moments before that shooting. Take a listen to what they heard. Next thing you know, he hit this girl so hard in the chest, we could hear it over there, knocked her down, started grabbing her hair, pulling her, they're yelling, screaming. That's when I went inside, got my phone, called 911. And uh, so heard him screaming, screaming, screaming. And uh, next thing you know, he comes out, gets in his car, backs out of the driveway, and the neighbor was right in front of our house. And uh, just, he tried to run him over. And just moments after this crash, the neighbor telling me that the suspect, the shooter, got out of his car, calmly walked back across the street into the home. The neighbor was actually on the phone with 911 when he heard several gunshots go off. Right now, the sheriff's office not releasing the names of anyone involved until next of kin can be notified. Marco, we are going to stay on top of this story and bring you any updates as soon as we learn them. But definitely a tragic day here in Sarasota. Yeah, and it started out as quite a mystery. It's sad to hear all these facts coming out. Amanda, thank you.